but I, I need a, a proper chair. Okay, um, which one is? What this is, is fine, I mean, this fine. is fine. writing a sonnet, you, there are, you have to uh, conform to precise rules, but having that, um, that structure there um, uh, to, 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 to constrain you somehow enhances the creativity. To do good mathematics, you have to, to develop a new insight. I mean, the can, okay, calculation everybody can learn and even you can teach the machine to do it very well. Um, but then, um, yeah, so the, the mathematician has to know what to calculate and what to predict. And How can you be a researcher and not be creative? It's impossible. So it's two things at the same time. It's, it's science, it's rigorous, um, it's about truth or falsity, and it's artistic, it's creative, it's innovative, it's something new. And that's the great fun of it. Uh, it is quite... Uh, Interesting question. Perhaps, okay, uh, I can be creative, but okay, a little bit uh, lazy person. Well, certainly in mathematics, there's, there's a sort of moment when you suddenly, things become clear, and it comes out of nowhere. And I'll be doing something else, having a shower, cycling home, and suddenly the answer will come. And so that's really, in a way, that's a good, another answer to why I would say it's creative. I mean, it just comes from some part of your brain, which is not the logical part. It's hard to see how asking a question which no one had thought of before is a logical process. I never really thought of myself as being creative, creative because uh, I mean, uh, if you're a mathematician, most of the time you think how stupid you are, <laughs> rather than how creative am I. <laughs> Definitely, I think of myself as creative. A lot of the things that I'm that I find I'm doing in, in statistics and in research is inventing new algorithms, new new procedures for for new problems, and so therefore I think uh, uh, you need some uh, creative, uh, some help me out, Create. creativity. Creativity. I always think of artistic, creative talent. You've got some medium to work with. You can do anything with it. You can really conjure up something which doesn't exist, doesn't have to be true. It's just, there's, there's something different there for me. It's a much scarier place because there's so much flexibility. When I am working on a piece of physics or mathematics related to it, and I see something appearing and gradually building up, and you do a, put a piece here and a piece there, and it doesn't work, and it does work, and so on. I think more of carpentry, of, create, of constructing something, sh cutting it into shape and polishing it and so on. And you know, I suppose it is creative, of course it is. I always think it's nearer to architecture, perhaps, than to other arts. One is trying to sort of build this um, formal structure up. And there are you know, supports and girders and there are connections. So it's a kind of uh, same kind of aesthetic appeal as that of a piece of good good architecture. There are mathematicians who maybe build a house which is similar to all the others, but then there are also visionary ones which create a totally new building which had nothing to do with the buildings and then may become somehow a model for new buildings in the future. So somehow <laughs> there are different <laughs> levels of creativity. Musician or concert pianist composer probably needs to, to play, listen to, to, to music, to the um, to the point where they can actually see the notes, you know, so they can actually, uh, uh, and so I guess that's, that's what we're, we're doing. So we get to the point where we can actually, we can actually see 
the flow of the ideas and information that goes into our research. And once you've done that certain amount of practice to, to get to that level where you can actually start doing that, then you're able to make these connections, form these links, and then and that's where, and that's where you, that's when you become creative. I think creativity comes and goes. We don't draw pictures, so you don't, it's not like looking at artwork and looking at the stamp of the artist, but it really is like that, although the expression of it is all in, uh, you know, in symbols. Uh, a good question, I think, is, is, is worth uh, 100 good answers. So I would say the, the, the deepest creativity lies in asking the right, right or, the, or the deep questions. You know, part of it is trying to do something that nobody's done before. In that sense, you're an adventurer, an explorer, and uh, you get to go somewhere maybe that nobody's been. And so there's, you, know, you certainly have that kind of a feel about it. There's also a feel of being an artist. You know, while you're doing math, you, you feel like you're being creative and you're you know, trying to combine things in a new way and, and get a different perspective on things or see things in a new light. So there's definitely part of that, and it's part science, just, you know, the exactness and the precision and being careful and paying attention to details and making sure that everything goes right, and there's a certain amount of satisfaction in that. And just, I think when you combine all these things together, it's, um, uh, it produces something fairly amazing. We don't reach people immediately, but what, what we do as mathematicians, it, will st it still has an effect, I mean, a very long delayed effect on, on the rest of humanity. And we develop things that are then used. So, I mean, it's a, it's a creativity that is somehow hidden from view, but, you know, it's, it's certainly there. I mean, one of the big losses about being a creative mathematician is that you do have nothing to do with human emotions in the work you're doing. So you have human emotions about it, and, you know, great joy and, and pain about doing the mathematics, but you, your work doesn't express that. It's, uh, so other people who are creative are able to ex say much more about being human than mathematicians can. That's, uh, that's, but um, that's just the nature of it. <laughs>